It's no secret that Elon Musk plans to see humans on Mars within the next few decades. SpaceX is charting the course for this ambitious project, and the company's latest spacesuit design is just one of the many mind-boggling aspects of the daring mission. So what exactly is a spacesuit? What's so special about SpaceX spacesuits in particular? And what makes it better than NASA's spacesuit and every other spacesuit ever designed? We answer all those questions and more in this video, so stick around. Welcome to Posh Future. In this video, we'll be talking about the new SpaceX spacesuits that are the talk of the technology world right now. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done that, and drop a like if you find this video enjoyable. A spacesuit is similar to a small spacecraft you wear around your body, rather than an item of clothing. It has full pressurization, crafted with life support systems, and it's likely to look pretty cool. Should the suit fail, however, then you could be sorry. No one has ever died because of a faulty spacesuit, but that doesn't mean current models are perfect. Whether it's for launch into space or re-entry back to Earth, or extravehicular activity, astronauts have never been completely satisfied with the outfits they've always been asked to put on, until Elon Musk happened. The SpaceX spacesuit is a spacesuit made by SpaceX, which stands for Space Exploration Technologies Corp., an American company owned by Elon Musk since 2002. Speaking of Elon Musk, there is something about this man that gets you so amazed, isn't it? Everything he touches becomes gold in technology. The way he fuses art into technology and still manages to make it look easy is nothing short of extraordinary. Anyways, back to the spacesuits. In 2016, Elon Musk contacted the pedigree designer Jose Fernandez, who worked on costumes for the movies Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, Tron, Iron Man 2, The Amazing Spider-Man, and Captain America Civil War, to name just a few of his impressive credits. Musk wanted Fernandez to design the spacesuit, and the Mas designing genius recounts that he initially thought it was for a movie. I didn't know what SpaceX was, and I thought it was a film, he said. And so it happened that this SpaceX spacesuit design had the superhero feel to it. Well, let's start talking about it from the helmet down to the boots. Mr. Fernandez is fluent in helmets. His design of Thor's and his brother Loki's awe-inspiring helmets are proof at that point. As expected, must like Fernandez's submission of the helmet design. Really liked it even. The joining of a spacesuit to its helmet has to be airproof, so that air from the atmosphere will not get into it. The reason for this is that spacesuits cannot use normal air. Air is made up of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% of other gases. The low pressure would cause dangerously low oxygen concentrations in the lungs and blood. So a spacesuit has to get its oxygen from an umbilical cord or a backpack life support system. With all this in mind, Fernandez designed the helmet to look ovoid, not so heavy and resembling a motocross headgear. The helmet's features include valves, locks, microphones, and mechanisms for retracting the clear face visor, all of which makes the helmet stylish and protective at the same time. The helmet is connected to the rest of the suit with a flexible neck piece, which is surprisingly extended but articulate. And this is very interesting to see. This is because some of the old NASA helmets wouldn't even support the astronauts getting to do many movements with their heads, but the SpaceX spacesuit does. The suit is made from a type of Teflon and Nomex, a fire retardant fabric similar to Kevlar. The gloves are designed to work with the touchscreen dashboard controls used to pilot the spacecraft, and it was made to be sleeker than the NASA all-in-ones. It's able to provide adequate protection from loss of air in the capsule. The emphasis on mobility was visible, as the other NASA suits didn't give astronauts a chance for free movement. The body of the suit is aptly military in style, but not overly so. The shoulder straps are accomplished with the dark silver piping, tracing the shape, rather than with an actual tab of fabric. And the inset dark silver ground for the bright shoulder patches brings an extra whiff of sleek down military formality, as do the patches of dark silver in the high wear areas of the elbows and sides of the suit, with an emphasis on the joinery again. The formal look of the suit is not an accident, as Mr. Fernandez tells us of how Elon Musk kept insisting on a tuxedo look, saying, Anyone looks better in a tux, no matter what size or shape they are. And when people put this spacesuit on, he wants them to look better than they did without it. Like a tux, you look heroic in it. Looking closely at the front of the spacesuit's piping below the neck, which forms a kind of necklace that stops slightly above the sternum and just above the suit's emblazoned NASA chest emblem, 
we can see that the cup-shaped bottom of that necklace is drawn in a much heavier gauge of piping, figuratively demarking where the labels of a tux would sharply outline the bright white shirt underneath. It must be said that the suit wasn't made for extravehicular activity, aka spacewalk, but for the astronauts to stay in the capsule, as the suit will be plugged into their seat umbilicals carrying oxygen and cool air from the spacecraft. The boots were made different from the suit, but crafted from black material to look as if they're connected. These boots have been objects of jokes on social media. A comment read, When your clothes show that you're going to space and your boots are going fishing. I never understood the boots. These guys aren't going out commercial fishing or working at the steel mill. Couldn't we get them a nice comfy pair of new balances or something like that? Just saying. Another comment read, Even if Fernandez will not be winning the International Design Excellence Award for his work on this suit, the spacesuit and its design is nonetheless an awesome piece of work by the seasoned entertainment designer. It is also worth mentioning that Elon Musk and Jose Fernandez worked on different prototypes for three to four years before finally settling on what we see now. The suit was first tested by humans on the 30th of May 2020. NASA's veteran astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Pinkin, who instead of the old school pumpkin suit, were decked in the all white SpaceX suit for their ride to orbit with a successful launch from Florida. The ride was launched on the Demo 2 in the new SpaceX Crew Dragon, a new capsule designed to take astronauts to and fro the International Space Station. The seasoned astronauts gushed afterwards. Doug Hurley said during a press conference on June 1st from onboard the space station, I bet we've donned and off those suits a couple of hundred times. They were much easier to get in and out of in zeros. We'd have to give these suits a five-star rating, Binkin added during the discussion about the SpaceX suits. Looking into the future, there are plans to make trips around the moon and to also visit a city on Mars by 2050. So we should certainly expect to see more of these spacesuits. That's all we have for you today. Drop a comment and let us know what you think. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. Until next time.